The VA estimates we lose about 300 World War II veterans every day. In Houston this afternoon, we said goodbye to another. Aaron Cook was 96 years old. He survived the attack on Pearl Harbor, served through the war, and then came home to raise his family here in Houston. He died on Saturday. Our own Ted Oberg was with his family at Houston's National Cemetery this afternoon. This is probably a pretty good way to remember Aaron Cook, the kid from Fort Worth who enlisted in the Navy in 1940, just eight days after his 18th birthday. A year later, he was a 19-year-old sailor stationed on Battleship Row in Pearl Harbor when the Japanese attacked. Suddenly we heard these airplanes coming over. Somebody said, uh, what's going on? It's a practice attack. It wasn't practice and Cook hadn't yet been to war, but he went that day. We met Aaron Cook at a Pearl Harbor commemoration ceremony in 2016 at the George H.W. Bush Library in College Station. Oh, goodness. I grew up in one day. When Cook died Saturday at 96 years old after an adult lifetime in the Houston area, he was the only known Pearl Harbor survivor in all of Texas. Only a few of them are left anywhere. Receive now into your arms your servant Aaron. He was a great storyteller, yeah. His widow says Aaron wasn't eager to talk about that day. She told us he went decades without saying a thing until he realized what he'd lived through. Well, I know one thing, he was afraid that people were going to forget about the attack on Pearl Harbor. I hope that the, they realize that, you know, it's something that we don't want to do again. And, uh, he just say, I don't want to do it again anyway. He wanted people to always remember that. And maybe that's why it's so important we remember him. Thank you for your service, Mr. Cook. At Houston's National Cemetery, Ted Oberg, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.